Hey everybody, my name is April, her name is Emma, and this is 1330 Mom. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So glad to see everyone. And today we have the last little bit of Halloween and we're doing our annual... We're doing Halloween candy! Our annual Dollar Tree Halloween candy haul. But before we get into that, please like and subscribe. Join our family, we would love to have you. So first, we're, I'm gonna show you just like the last little bit of Halloween goodness that I've gotten probably over the last week. And we'll start off with- These skeletons. These cute little skeletons. They're like a and bride and a groom. One is wearing a bow tie. Yeah, I'm not sure why the bride is wearing a bow tie, but um, <laughs> I'm loving like the bride and groom feel of it. I've not seen anyone like say they've gotten these and stuff like that, so I was completely surprised when I saw them at my store and knew I had to have them because, I mean, they go perfectly in my Beetlejuice living room because it's Adam and Barbara, right? But um, if you can't tell, their heads spin and stuff like that. It's kind of a little crazy. But yeah, I thought they were absolutely adorable, especially for a dollar. I couldn't believe, like, they had these. Even if I just put them up for next year. These will be a great addition for next year. Um, I'm trying to honestly, like, wind down on some stuff. Because I know I'm going to have to put it up soon. And then we're going to start having to decorate for Christmas. So, mm -hmm. I'm trying to keep myself from putting more out and stressing myself out. Um... I do need to put some of these out in my yards. I think I have like two pairs already, maybe three pairs. I picked up one more, just kind of sticking the ground around the yard type of thing, and that's something easy to do. So we've been waiting for the week of Halloween to stick stuff in the ground. That way, if it rains, it's not going to be like a disaster. Because we did the tombstones last year, like before, like first of October and it ended up just being a hot mess because it rained uh -huh. a lot. Yeah. He's right. Um, these. I've never seen these before. They're just like a light up pumpkin eyes. Yeah. There was I like, picked them out for yes. our pumpkin. Yes. There's like two or three different types of pears. These were our favorite. So, um. Uh-huh. They're the most spooky. Yeah. It so says for I indoor picked... use only. So, I don't know. I don't know if they already have batteries in them. It does say batteries included. So, really, you can pop this out and just stick it in the pumpkin and it's good to go. So, um, these next things are just like treat bags for Emma's class. I bought treat uh -huh. bags already, but the treat bags I bought, we bought too many treats, honestly. So, um, these are just going to be for treat bags to send to school with her. Uh-huh. I'm going to hand out little homie. Stuff have to do all the kids in my classroom at school when it's closer to Halloween. Yep. So Friday they're doing a Halloween party, so we'll just send them on Friday and yeah, they can enjoy. So uh -huh. this I hadn't seen anyone talk about either. And so I was super duper surprised to see it. It's just like mm -hmm. it's a plastic coffin. I believe there's a clear one and maybe like the holographic one. Emma looked at me and said, Mom, I have to have it. I was like, why do you have to have it? She's like, I want to put it in my Barbie house. Mm -hmm. So, um, so that my Barbies, their kids can, can jump out and scare her the other Barbies. We do have like a haunted looking Barbie house that I started working on this year. We'll continue working on it here and there, but this is going to be perfect to sit in that too. So we picked one of those up, which I mean, it's so cool. Yeah. These would be really cool for like little gifts and stuff too. To any of your spooky friends. Um, now, moment we've been waiting for all month. The candy. And, yeah, um, Halloween candy. Let me say this. I have been recently to Dollar Tree. We picked this up like starting when they first started putting it out. We have been recently. And, I mean, there's hardly anything left. There's hardly anything left. But the first things cotton candy we'll show you are the cotton candies. They have this like every year in most seasons. We got the boo booberry and then the candy corn cotton candy. Uh -huh. This is 
specifically for Emma. This is all Emma. Yeah. Um, because I don't eat cotton candy. <laughs> she can't eat cotton candy. And she's also trying to stay away, stay off the food. Yeah, well, that doesn't have to be Um, the next item we got is the boodling. And how many of you remember, like, candies like this back when you were a kid type of thing? Like, the little rings and the bracelets. I'm not sure if there's necklaces. Yeah, it just says bring up bracelets. So, like, we have the necklaces, too, that had, like, the little... I thought they were cute, so we're just going to throw those, honestly, in Emma's school treat bags. More candy. I'm just going to put this on the lap, actually. Um, we picked up three. I think I picked up four. I sent one off to somebody. But we picked up three of these, like, bloody bite things. It has the plastic things in it, and then, like, it has, like, a sour gooey type watermelon. It says Bloody Bites Oozing Candy Blood Back. So yeah, we picked those up. But I figured kids would just enjoy like the vampire teeth and stuff like that. So we got those for Emma's treat bags. Uh-huh. Oh. Giving one bag to I all have three of these. So I might actually take one of these to work with me or put it in a treat bag for my kids too. I don't realize I bought three of those. Um, these aren't necessarily for Halloween. This is probably just like little treats for Emma's lunch. But it's the sweetest fish and it's the crushed fruit mix. I don't know. We had Swedish fish the other day and it was pretty good. They have strawberry, pineapple, ooh, pineapple, orange, and grape. So we got those. Okay. Same with these. Not really like for Halloween, but one of my co workers' favorite candies is these. So, um, every once in a while I'll buy them for her. So I'll probably just take those for her for like just a little Halloween treat. Where'd the bag go? You dropped it. It, it fell off my last cup mm. by itself. We got the Sweet Tart Chews. This is probably from our fiance. It's one of his favorite candies. So we just kind of picked that up for him as a little treat for him. And speaking of my fiance, I had originally bought two bags of this one candy. It was a steel type of thing. They're delicious. My fiance is falling in love with these. I bought them to put like in my bucket for like trick-or-treaters and stuff uh -huh. and to take some to school. They or are slash suckers work. with gum in them. No, these are not suckers with gum in them. Um, it's it's like this fruit chew and it's like a pound bag and it has like a hundred pieces in it approximately. These are delicious, and I was going to use them for, like, bribing tools for my kids at work, and, um, yeah. wish I would have bought, like, five of these. I only picked up two. My fiance fell in love with one. Yeah. I'm kind of torn whether or not to give, like, leave these at home or to take them to work, so I'm not sure what we'll do with these now, but... If you see these at your Dollar Tree, pick them up. They're really, really good buy. You could pick probably them up. keep them in, in your bag. I can bring them wherever you go. I'm not going to do that. Um, we picked up this fun mix of like Tiger Pops and Bon Bon Bombs. It's um, 40 pieces, new sweet and sour flavors. Just kind of like a fun random mixture I can throw on my candy bucket and things like that. So I picked mm -hmm. that up. We grabbed the mini Parm Pops. It has gum in the middle. I think that's what Emma was just discussing, but I also got Blow Pops too, so those are probably going to be put out in my um, candy buckets. I like doing like the fruit ones because allergy-free type of issues, and I do like to put like random little toys out in my bucket too for the same reason. Um, picked up some nerds. These, I pick up every season they have them, and it's just like the spooky selfie lollipops, and it has like, there, is there three or four? There's four. Okay, so there's a vampire, there's a skeleton mouth, and then there's like lips. So I don't know what the fourth one is, but it's only showing three. But yeah, so it's a sucker, and then it's like the lips type of things. I get these every season 
come out they just randomly have them sometimes and then they have um like the woodland creature ones and then like bunny ones we get those all the time and then they also have them for christmas for me too. to eat because i do. love those suckers yep so we pick those up for him all the time um whenever we can yep chocolate eyeballs uh-huh we I, have something here we have some of them in our living room. Yeah, I grabbed like one of the plastic jars that said death by candy and then I put like these little chocolate eyes in them and they just look really cool. Honestly, I will probably, they're like a double crisp chocolate. I'll probably take these to work and that will be like a, if you have a good week you can take an eyeball home type of thing. Because they'll be good after Halloween. Yeah, they're good until like 4.23. Anyways, I'll be taking those to work. After Halloween. And then the last item is Tootsie Pops. Um, I don't know how many are in here. It doesn't really say. It just says 50% more. Um, Probably 50% more than one. Anyways, either way, I don't know if I'll use them in a little treat bag for my kids at work or put them in my bucket. I got a lot of suckers. I might use these for um, treats at work, honestly. Put in treat bags because I didn't realize I've got so much candy. But, um, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to let Emma try a couple little bites of these and let her tell you, like, which one she likes more, whether she likes the blueberry or the candy corn. Huh? I'm not going to let her try all the candy. A lot of the candy is not like, usually they have like different flavors of things, but we didn't really grab that many like different flavors again things. We did grab um, like the zombie Sour Patch Kids at some point, but they, I mean, they just taste like Sour Patch Kids. So there's nothing really special about them. So and Sour Patch Kids are too sour for me. Okay, which one do you want first? I'll try the... The blueberry. Uh -huh. Okay. I've never had that flavor so, before. We're gonna just give her a little it's bit. It's my first time to have this flavor. What do you think? What does it taste like? It tastes, oh. it tastes oh. like chocolate chip cookies. How does blueberry taste like chocolate chip cookies? Mm. It tastes like like chocolate chips to me. All right, so blueberry tastes like chocolate chips to Emma, which is <laughs> like I almost want to try it, but like just she can't eat cotton candy. Yeah, that's been since a childhood thing, though. And then this one is the candy corn one. It's orange, so. What does that one taste like? Same thing that has the other flavor. That tastes ex the exact same? Mm -hmm. There's no flavor difference in them for you? Uh-uh. They don't taste differently. Both of them get a of taste. Okay. So, um, I guess what we can derive from this is that the cotton candy stays the exact same. No matter what flavor you get. I don't know. Like I said, I kind of want to try it just because she just said it tastes like cotton candy, but I really don't want to try it either. Um, but yeah, that is it for us this Halloween, especially for Dollar Tree things. We have a couple more Halloween type things coming out, but this is kind of bittersweet. It's the end of our Dollar Tree Halloween things. For this year. For this year. I mean, but we'll probably have a bunch more next year. Right. Well, we'll definitely have a bunch more next year, but because yeah, we always have a lot of Halloween stuff. Yeah. If we get close to Halloween. Yep. So yeah, this is it for us this year. We hope that you've enjoyed going along with us to Dollar Tree for Halloween things. It's been a bumpy ride. Cause randomly, some of this stuff is just now getting there, like a week before Halloween. But it is what it is, and um, I'm happy with what we got this year. We've gotten some awesome things. Some things are just being put up for next year just because I'm running out of time. But I have that for next year. Maybe I will reel myself in and not buy so much. Mm -hmm. I say that every year, and then it doesn't happen. But we're going to see if I can do better next year. 
But um, it's probably six or seven weeks until Halloween. No, know, it's right? it's a far far away from that. But yes, comment down below <laughs> and let us know what your favorite Halloween candy is. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you real soon. Bye.